lifeguards were on high alert as hundreds of people flocked to Orange County beaches to see what could be the most dangerous coastal conditions in more than a decade. Rip tides and the crashing waves threatened to sweep people from beaches, rock ledges and jetties. But large swells are also threatening to flood coastal homes and businesses. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us live from Huntington Beach where conditions were dangerous today. MB. Yes, and Micah and Cher, lifeguards and the National Weather Service are warning people to stay out of the water for the next few days. They say that the surf is dangerous and the rip currents life threatening. Large waves are pounding the Orange County coastline, some even hitting the bottom of the Huntington Beach Pier. I think they were awesome. You know, I used to come with my son and uh, we've been here through storms and never seen the waves as big. They're, uh, they're pretty wild. It's pretty big. They're epic. Should sure. be some awesome surf. I know there might be a flood warning too. We asked some spectators why people like to come to the coast to see such big swells, which are expected to get even bigger in the coming days. Because I believe it's mother nature at her best, especially at Huntington Beach, it's never been like this before. I think it's more along lines of nature. People just don't get a chance, especially in Southern California, to see as much of nature. Lifeguards are warning the public to stay out of the dangerous waters. However, this person chose to tackle some tough surf in Huntington Beach. That's where lifeguards on jet skis also had to rescue a capsized kayaker near PCH and Seapoint. They managed to get him safely back to the shore. In Seal Beach, big waves came crashing onto the beach. Authorities had to close the pier for a while to keep pedestrians safe. The swell is building, the waves are getting bigger, the tide's rising, and we're going to have bigger surf. This is cause for concern in the Aliso Beach area of Laguna Beach, where residents say the city is not doing enough to protect their homes against the rising tides. It's a bureaucratic nightmare. The homeowners are very upset and they're very concerned. Obviously, we have a significant swell with rising tides, big tides. They're concerned for their property. They're concerned for the safety of the public. They're concerned for losing property. And authorities do want to remind people to stay off rocks and jetties. Be careful of sneaker waves and never turn your back to the ocean. For now, reporting live here in Huntington Beach, Mary Beth McDade will send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. Farther north, California's central coast was also pounded by high waves. In Pismo Beach, much of the seafront was underwater as waves surged right up to homes. And you could see here that swings at a playground on the sand north of Pismo Beach Pier were partially submerged. Evacuation orders have been lifted in Santa Cruz County after high surf and flooding caused road closures and evacuation orders today. Officials canceled those orders late this afternoon but are warning the public to stay vigilant while high surf conditions and road closures are still in effect. We continue our coverage with meteorologist Vera Jimenez with current conditions out there now. V yeah, outside right now, not looking too bad. In fact, this is the view from our Long Beach camera. And as you can see, it is uh, quite still out there, uh, but we are not done with it just yet. We still have another day. And in fact, now it's uh, more than a day and a half. It's actually more closer to like two days that we are going to be dealing with these conditions. Uh, we've got LA County, Ventura and Orange County, but as far north as San Luis Obispo, as well as as far south as San Diego. What we're looking at is extremely dangerous conditions and flooding. Uh, we're also seeing that some of these have actually been extended until Monday for Orange County and San Diego. These uh, advisories and warnings are now with us until really early on Monday. But let's talk about the surf because tomorrow morning a lot of people are going to be heading out to see what it looks like. Growing west swell for Orange County 5.7 at 944 is when they're going to peak. Uh, some sets could reach as much as 12 feet. So again, and in Orange County, remember that's where they've extended it until Monday. For uh, LA County beaches, we're looking at 7 to 12 feet. Large west swell there peaking at 945 with 5.8. Uh, and there the south facing beaches are also going to be impacted by the way. And finally for Ventura, Ventura has seen the largest wave so far. Sets could reach up to 20 feet again tomorrow. And 
and again, right around 945, 947 is when that tide will peak. So we still have some more, some more of this high tide and this dangerous surf to get through. We'll take a look at the chances of rain because that is also in the forecast, especially for the 1st of January. We'll talk about those details coming up shortly. Back to you guys for now. Vera, thank you.